thanks for joining me today. In this video, we're going to talk about how to set up a form for a career day type event where you would need to have students enroll themselves by topic, but you also want to eliminate topics as they fill up. And what we're going to do is we're going to use an add-on for Google Forms called Choice Eliminator. Now I've already set up my form with a basic question, and as you can see here in this section, for session one, they have topics that they want to choose from. Now, for instance, if pre-law only has 20 seats available for that session, then we would obviously want this to stop taking reservations at that 20 mark, and then on the 21st login to the form, it blocks them out. So uh, what we're going to do is we're gonna add Choice Eliminator in a second, um, but first I wanna also reference this. If each session in your day has the same topics offered over and over again, set up one question so that you don't have to type it over and over again. So instead of retyping this question over and over again, all I have to do is click duplicate and it creates an exact copy of that and I can change it from session one to session two and then hit done. So let's say for instance we have two sessions for the career day and what we're going to do is we're going to add the choice eliminator add-on. Now if you don't already have this add-on, all you have to do is go to the add-ons menu, click get add-ons, and I'm going to search for choice and choice eliminator pops up and this is a very simple tool but it's a great one and I'm going to tell you also Form Ranger would do the exact same thing but with other options as well and all you have to do if you want this add-on is click free and of course it will ask for your permission so you go ahead and scroll to the bottom and click allow and it will add this add-on to your add-ons menu up here and it will pop up once it's loaded so it's ready so I'm going to click add-ons go to choice eliminator and click start now it turns on the eliminator menu at the right hand side and I'm going to turn, turn on my global settings and then for session one I'm going to tell it that I want it to eliminate choices but I'm going to tell it what kind of options I want set up on that so for choice options I'm going to tell it for each of the options in this section I want it to take it off of the list after it reaches 20. Now in order to show you how this works I'm going to actually set this to 2 so I can demonstrate it for, for the purposes here. And I'm going to make all of these set to 2. And then click Save. I'll do the same thing for the second session. Session 2, I'll set up each option so that it's available for 2 uses. And then basically what's going to happen is by doing this, I have now set it up so that each time this form is loaded, then if someone selects pre-law for instance and it's selected two times then the third time this form is used pre-law will no longer be an option so I'm going to show you what that looks like by clicking on view live form so here I am I'm in my session and I click pre-law and pre-med for sessions one and two and click submit now I'm going to close this so that it registers that as a separate independent entry I'm going to reopen it try it one more time pre-law pre-med submit close it now on this third instance both of those options should be gone from each of the questions and as you can see here now that it's loaded pre-law is missing from session one and pre-med is missing from session two that means that those sessions are full so I don't have to worry about those sessions being overloaded and I can go on and be comfortable with the fact that we won't we won't have a waiting list trying to get into those sessions. So that's a real quick rundown of how this works. You'll notice that when you go to your view responses page, you can see how many people have selected what for each session. There's some other things that you could do with this sheet. For instance, if you collect the student's name and then run Autocrat on this sheet, you could actually have it set up so that a form is generated after the fact showing each student every session they've registered for. Now that's actually another video that I'll save for later, so if you'd like to view that one, check back on my website, techiecoach.com, and I'll have that up for you. Thanks for joining me.